investigators access to Rosen's emails. So how are the mainstream media handling this developing scandal? Let's bring in our News Watch panel. Judith Miller is a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter and author. Kirsten Powers is a Daily Beast columnist. Both are Fox News contributors. What about the reaction that this apparently, according to NBC, goes all the way up to the highest level, the top guy at the Justice Department, Judy? Well, this is the first time that Eric Holder has had to assume, or will have to assume, personal responsibility in the AP case, which is where they uh, cast a dragnet that affected a roughly 100 AP reporters. Eric Holder said that he had recused himself. Now it appears that he did sign that warrant, which criminalizes reporting. And I think the press isn't buying it for once. Many in the media who were kind of lapdogs to this administration have suddenly become watchdogs. And I welcome the change. I welcome the skepticism. It's long overdue. Kirsten, the administration seems to want to kick the can down the road, but have they kicked a hornet's nest with this one? Yeah, look, I, the media actually is very engaged in this. Uh, they uh, f finally, I guess, have overstepped the bounds. The Obama administration has finally overstepped the bounds with the media in this case. And it has, it has awakened them not just to the contemptuous attitude the administration has towards the idea of a free and independent media, but also uh, towards whistleblowers, something that we've known about for his entire administration, that he'd been persecuting a lot of whistleblowers, um, which is which is different, frankly, than a leaker. A leaker often is somebody, you know, someone who's just leaking something perhaps for political benefit, um, but a whistleblower is somebody who's actually trying to alert the media to something going on that, that people need to know. Uh, they've persecuted a lot of whistleblowers um, and fi it's finally getting some attention. Well, Judy, but the, the interesting thing to me is that, you know, after hearing complaints uh, from the media and others about this overly broad subpoena, you know, going after the Associated Press, 20 uh, phones and, and, uh, of 20 reporters and, and editors at the Associated Press in Washington, the president says, OK, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to appoint Attorney General Eric Holder to investigate himself. Right, exactly. He's going to review the guidelines of the Department of Justice, which is supervised by Eric Holder. And Eric Holder, when asked how many requests for uh, search warrants or subpoenas of journalists he had turned down, couldn't remember. That would seem to be something I would want to know if I knew that I was on the defensive. And the president had just expressed confidence in me. I mean, this is, this is truly amazing. But Eric Holder has been able to dodge these bullets again and again and again. And finally, I think we really do need some outside scrutiny, some steady uh, scrutiny by the press. I hope that summer, as summer comes, we won't lose focus. The guidelines are going to be reviewed by July 12th. Let's make sure that there are some serious recommendations about stopping such overreach. Well, Kirsten, you worked in Washington. Everything the president has said thus far about, uh, you know, about Benghazi, about this uh, AP story, uh, is that, is that uh, it's a partisan witch hunt, that there is no there there, that kind of thing. Uh, are the media still going along with that notion? I think they are on the Benghazi issue. I, I, it's the, it, but the AP story and the, the, the Fox News James Rosen story are very different because, of course, they focus on the media, and the media is very concerned about the media. Yeah. So, I, so that's different. I, I, I think on the other issues, frankly, they're not getting as much attention because the administration's done a good job convincing people that they're just partisan uh, issues and, you know, don't pay attention. All right. Well, the Justice Department going after a reporter for doing his job. It's a, kind of an interesting time in America. <laughs> we'll talk more about it. Judith Miller, Kirsten Powers, thank you. Thank you. More thank with you. my great panel when I host Fox News.